Welcome to a quick review of Divination. Now before I get started, I just want to mention that this skill did just come out yesterday, so even though I am doing a quick review of it, obviously it can't be crazy in-depth. In but, but also that's kind of the point of a quick review because uh, it's quick. Anyway, let's get right into it. So yesterday Divination was released. Uh, it's a fairly interesting skill. I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, First off, you'll notice uh, it's very similar to something else in the game called Runespan, where you're uh, harvesting uh, r runes or whatever from nodes, now you're harvesting memories from these uh, springs, which is apparently like Gothic's leaked out energy or something like that. Uh, so it's very similar to that, which bothers me a little bit because the lack of creativity just kind of, I don't know, it just bothers me. We haven't had a skill in three years. Obviously, they haven't been working on a skill for three years, but you think, you know, a little more effort into at least the gathering part of the skill would have been nice. Um, but uh, the one thing I do like about it is the rewards. The rewards are pretty cool. Uh, so there's a bunch of different rewards. Uh, some of the cooler ones include uh, food that can automatically heal you. Uh, I think they're called potents or something like that. Uh, but if your health drops below 50%, it heals you. So that's going to be really cool for PVM. And it looks like they're not terribly expensive to make either. So that's awesome. Uh, the, what's it called? The divine locations or whatever, like the portable uh, skilling spots. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to affect like prices of stuff. But uh, the idea is at least pretty cool. Um, I like the conversion thing where you can transform lower resources into higher level resources. That's cool. Um, I think in general that's going to be good for the economy because hopefully it'll eat up a bunch of those lower resources that are just sitting around that no one's using and put them into the higher level resources that actually get used. So that should be cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like... Um, Let's see, what are some of the other rewards? Uh, there's the boons. Those are cool. Uh, when you use them, when you get to like level 40 or 30 or whatever, you can use them to get 10% for whatever the next uh, energy memory thing is. So that's cool. So yeah, the rewards are good. I like the rewards. Uh, and I'm excited to see, especially whenever the next skill ends up coming out, uh, how they're going to use this to have it affect uh, another skill so I don't know I kind of feel like it's going to be like some kind of like enchanting type thing where you buff up your stuff using this energy but who knows and that's not going to be till next year anyway so but yeah anyway that's pretty much the gist of it um, oh one kind of fun thing about this is uh, to see where you can get on the high scores um, I was I was ranked like 280 total for a while. I thought that was pretty fun. Here, I got a little picture here. Just a little bit of a, I don't know, just made me feel cool for a second. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'm ranked like 500 now or something, and that's going to keep going down, especially after people start getting 99, because my total experience is not that good for someone that uh, was maxed. But yeah, that's it's just been kind of fun. Another really cool aspect about this skill is um, the community aspect. I mean, you're doing this skill with a bunch of other people, so sometimes there's some kind of fun people to talk to or interesting conversations. Uh, right now, there's not. People are people who have been staying up the whole time are probably really tired. I was uh, doing it a lot yesterday, uh, but then I slept for nine hours like normal because I like sleep, and I'm not gonna uh, not sleep to get xp on this game because sleep's more important to me uh but yeah so yeah really cool oh an another really cool thing i like about this is i think it's giving um some especially lower level players an opportunity to make some money because these energies um they're selling for around 1k each or one, well one to 2k each and uh it's just not a bad way to make money along the way because what you can do is when harvesting i like i'm saving the energy um for I don't know what, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll use it for my last couple levels, but you can use this uh, third option here, and you get extra XP uh, if you use up some of these as well, so that's kind of cool, it's just a faster way to train, uh, but yeah, pretty cool, um, 
don't know if I have anything else to say about this. Like I said, it's only the second day, so there's a lot of stuff about it that uh, people don't even know yet. But, yeah. So, uh, I'm level 63 at the minute, which is cool. It's a... Uh, oh, that brings to one other thing I really like about it, is it's a slower skill, which is good, because I feel like skills have been getting faster and faster. And not that that's a bad thing, because, you know, you don't want to be, you know forced to play for well not forced but you don't want to have to play for an extremely long period of time to get your to to accomplish goals but i like that it's a slower skill because it just means that it's going to be more i don't know about valuable but uh yeah kind of more valuable more valuable of a cape because people are going to see oh wow you really had to work for that because it it's pretty slow experience so that's pretty cool but yeah uh, anyway, I think that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick review of Divination. Uh, and, yeah, I will see you in whatever video I put out next. Maybe I'll do a little, like, update video along the way for Divination or just stick with my never-ending journey thing. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this, and bye.